The neighbors are doing construction next door, so apologies if you hear any banging or crashing or whatever the fuck's going on. So anyways, um, let's just get right into this video, but before I do, <laughs> I should say that I do want to be branching out on commentating about topics that are not art community related. So if you have a certain subject you'd want me to cover, um, just leave that down in the comments below. Um, preferably something that wouldn't get me copy striked, but yes, uh, without further ado, let's actually get into the video. Okay, so I probably cut this out in post, but there's a solid 40 seconds of just this single frame and nothing else. It's just- well, there's music, but it's just this frame and music, so yeah. Um, not a very good cut um, that should have been edited out. But anyways, um, let's actually just get to the video. Um, it's a bit eye streamy, so just be warned. Um, lots of chromatic aberrations. Okay, so already we have some very uh, unpleasant looking chromatic aberrations. Um, I, as you know, I really like RGB split effects, but um, there's just a there's a very um, obvious line to where it becomes hard to look at and where it's fine. This is obviously very hard to look at, so maybe tone it down a little bit. Just don't put just don't stretch it as much as you as you do. Um, try and keep the lines close together. I'm not sure how this glitch cam app works, but it should be there should be an option to tone it down. So stuff like this where the lines are pretty far apart and it's pretty um, colory, that's good in like a few moderations like flashes, but not like this. And another thing is the character, um, the black and white really blends into the background. I can't- I mean, I understand you want to go for an aesthetic there, but you could have chosen like literally any other background that wouldn't completely clash with the character as it is. <laughs> Um, the frame rate is also very slow. Um, there's not a whole lot of animation going on, or it would have it would have looked a whole lot better if the frame rate had, like I said, been faster. Also, the circle tool. Uh, I'm haha, circling back to that old point, but don't use the circle tool. It's just it's 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 a tool and not a complete substitute for drawing a head, because no one's heads are circular. Like I can understand if it's a stylistic choice, but there's an extent to that because the circles just don't work really well as heads, no matter how you cut it. If it's a simplistic style, like for example uh, the Homestuck um, sprites, then that could work. But if you want, if you're if you're trying to look for something like full body. Just, you know, try not to do that. But yes. Also the knife. Um, handles are usually shorter than the blade itself. Um, it looks more like a scalpel than a knife. Maybe it's supposed to be a scalpel, but yes. This is very, um slow and very and not hard to look at but it's just kind of boring you know it's just a bunch of it's just the same thing over and over again so you already know what i say about variety there should be more of it you should interject some of the scenes with new scenes and all that nonsense but well it's not nonsense the face is also very small for the head so try to enlarge it or shrink the head which would be a better idea because the body looks very small compared to it i'm also not sure what those tails are supposed to be if they're even tails i know one looks like a tail but i'm not sure if the others are supposed to be hands or what but anyways yes um circle tool heads especially don't work well for animal characters because no animal's head is naturally a circle so yes um without further ado let's just get right into the next meme okay so this one actually does have some animation in it but it goes by really fast so i can't exactly tell how good or bad it is, so I'm just gonna put it right at a medium and not comment too much on it. I'm mainly going to be focusing on the style here. Okay, so we have a rainbow dash furry. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, Alright, so first of all, the colors, again, shouldn't be so saturated. The, the reason Rainbow Dash works is because her colors are pretty pastel and not super saturated, like I just said, but <laughs> yes. 
you should have a um, also with the with some matching colors. The ex the eyes shouldn't be the same color as the fur, and the shirt shouldn't be the same color as the background. Because it ends up not looking too great. Like if you forgot to line it. Also, I'm not sure what's going on with her shirt. Like if that's like a, band a bandana, the green thing, and what that cat thing is but it's a bit confusing the the pattern it's probably just like a cat with a bandana but it's not too obvious at first glance um i'm not sure if this oc is inspired off rainbow dash or if she's just like the the mary sue rainbow dyed hair or whatever but yes also the blush is way too opaque it should be turned down quite a bit and it shouldn't be um leaking out of the lines because you, you, when you blush you, you, your blood does not spill out of your pores <laughs> Okay, so this is very repetitive. Um, it's just the same thing over and over again. I thought it ended like midway through with that one blue thing with the white lines, but it didn't, so... Yeah, um, uh, for the full bodies, again with the circle tool heads, please don't do that. And... I, I don't know, it just looks like they, the heads are like way more detailed than the bodies, so maybe try working on that a little bit. Maybe try sketching out proportions beforehand so it doesn't look all weird, because the legs are super stubby compared to the body. It's like they drew a bust and then forgot the legs had to be drawn in as well. <laughs> Okay, the lines are also very, very messy. Um, try and sketch first, then line over it. It can be very tedious, but it ends up just looking so much better. Or you can just keep the liner as it is and then just erase all the bits that shouldn't be there. Which is a little bit easier, but also a little less um, consistent, because, you know, sketches are never really consistent. But, any but it's not like they're actually animating this anyway, so go right ahead and do that strategy. Also, when the ears are up, the head is like teardrop shape, which it, it, I don't think it should be like that, because um, when a animals put their ears up, they don't like- it doesn't like form a cone it just kind of like ears on the top of the head you know like you see a cat with the ears up you see a dog with the ears up it doesn't look like a, a teardrop so try and um study some more proportions like that maybe try it with circles and then triangles like very basic shapes at first which is what i like to do when i'm um posing something that i'm not comfortable with or just stepping out a bit of my comfort zone so to say Okay, so the walk cycle is not really a walk cycle, it's just kind of two feet shuffling in the same direction, which walk cycles aren't. So I suggest looking at references because God, those are so helpful when you're making walk cycles. I don't know where I would be without them. Um, I know animals are significantly harder to do than humans, but if you're only doing two paws, I feel like it should be easier. But, um, again, I've never tried animating animals. <laughs> Okay, so the frame rate should be, um, from my experience, the number of frames you have, plus just like a little more, depending on your personal tastes. Another thing with the art is the arms, um, okay, they kind of look like, uh, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say the actual word, but they look like a male genitalia a little bit, but that's just probably just me being very immature. Um, they're also coming out kind of at weird angles because there's no shoulders, so they're just kind of like moving up and down very... Like they're, like they're on a track, which isn't really how arms work. So try adding some shoulders and maybe making the paws a making making the paws a little more paw looking like, if that's the right word. And maybe try um, not putting a line between the coloration because it's not very necessary. Um, lines should, in my, uh, in my personal opinion, they shouldn't go through f um, markings. They should only really go through when like things are being separated from each other, like body, arms, neck, etc. Sands. That's all I have to say. <laughs> so it ends very quickly, and again, there's just a huge lack of variety here. There's not even there's there's barely two um, separate scenes. So please try to at least interject 
with some different head bobbing, different positions, or you could have just made the whole meme, like the cut the audio the way it was kind of supposed to be from the original, and just add single pictures with words because it's pretty easy to do that, you know? The wolf meme doesn't, um, isn't too animation heavy, it's mostly pictures. Um, some people choose to animate a little more, which is of course fine, but the original, from my opinion, was mostly, it was very simple to do. So that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and like I said earlier, if you have a suggestion for any other topic I should cover besides just my normal cringe comps, critique comps, whatever, if you have a suggestion, um, be feel free to leave it down in the comments below. I'd love to, you know, expand my horizons a little more in terms of what I cover. So yeah, um, that's it. See ya.